All right, hey guys, it's FPS Film One Three Three Seven, um, and it's uh, uh, October Seventeenth, Two Thousand Ten, at uh, one twenty-two a.m. And I just don't have anything really better to do right now. And I've been meaning to make this video for a little, a uh, little bit, but I just didn't get around until now. Um, so to start off with, um, this is uh, my computer. I've called it the Shadow Machine. It's a uh, production company that works with Adult Swim, and uh, I just like the name, so I, I put it. I uh, called my computer the same thing. But to start off with, um, the case, it's the uh, HA or the Cooler Master HAF 922. Um, it's a behemoth case. It's just massive. It's uh, but even then, it's even small. It's smaller uh, by uh, uh, than the uh, 932, which is just huge. But uh, it's this uh, this case, it's a uh, uh, 9.6 inches wide, uh, 22 uh, inches t uh, tall, and um. It goes back 22.7 inches, so it's a, it's a pretty big case, and uh, that's why they call it the HAF. It stands for the uh, high airflow. So um, there's just all, it, they just have a lot of air in it because you know it's so big. But um, it's got uh, up on the top, we've got two 120 millimeter fans, and um, these are some cold cathodes, but that I put in there because it looks cool as shit at night. And um, these have LEDs in them. It started off with a uh, uh, one or 200 millimeter fan, but uh, I opted for uh, Two 120s, and um, it's a uh, it looks pretty cool at night when uh the LEDs are on and the lights are off, and then there's a uh, 200 millimeter fan up in the front. I think it's 200 millimeters. Um, I'm almost positive, but I'm not entirely sure. And uh, I gotta tell you, the uh, I love this case except the only bad part is uh, up here in these grills, like uh, in all of them, they uh they trap a lot of dust. And um, I'll, I'll show you real quick. I'll put my lamp up there, maybe conceal it better. But uh, it just traps crazy amounts of dust, and um, you can you can take this whole face plate off and uh, to get to the filters and clean all that shit out. And I've only done that once because um, you have to take out uh, you have to take out all your 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 front uh, your like your CD drives and and this is my uh, touchscreen uh, fan controller and I have to take all that out. I mean I only have two because I just don't have a lot of stuff I have put on it. But um, even then that's still a hassle to kind of get everything out. And to take off the front panel, but um, so I don't really do that on a regular basis. I should though, like maybe uh, once every couple of months, because it does get really dusty. Um, all right, so I'll show you the inside of the case. Uh, but I, um, oh, uh, there is a uh, another 120 mm, uh, 120 feet, uh, millimeter fan back here. But um, this is the inside of the case. It's uh, it's uh, not very. Organized with wiring. I did my best to uh, to try and uh, run everything behind it. The uh, this metal part back here. You can there's a whole dead space for wires, but um, there's just some wires I couldn't work around uh, cleaning up. Uh, but it it doesn't really matter for me because you know I'm not looking at my case all the time. I'm not showing it to people all the time. So yeah, it's not a big deal for me. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, to start things off, uh, it was with my motherboard. Um, I have the Asus uh, P6T, and uh, it's it's uh, I really like it. It's a it's a good motherboard. Um, it uh, it can hold up to uh, 24 gigs of uh, DDR3. It's got uh, three PCIe slots, and um, I think um, one or two uh, just normal PCIe's. Uh, yeah, just two I think. But um, but that's okay because uh, I still really like it. I'm not using a whole lot of PCIe's. So but anyways, um, as you can see, I don't really have a whole lot in there. But um, I have uh, 6 gigs of DDR3 uh, back here, uh, Corsairs. And then um, uh, 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 this is my uh, Intel i7-920. It's at uh, 2.66 gigahertz. Uh, I haven't overclocked it because I only really play TF2, and um, I play some Portal and stuff like that. I mean, who really plays Portal anymore? But uh I mean, I still do from time to time. I haven't played Portal 2, though. I still, I've only, uh, I got Portal with the uh, Orange Box and TF2 and, uh, Half-Life. But anyways, um, and I work in, like, JavaScript and a little bit of nonsense like that. But, um, so I don't really, I don't really have a need to overclock just yet, but, uh, if I'm going to play, like, Crisis or something and I want to overclock that, I'll do that. But, um, uh, it's, uh, but anyways, back to Motherboard. It's uh, it's got a bunch of uh, nice ports here on the back. Um, I need to do a better job of screwing it in. I mean, uh, 
the uh, the only part that's really kind of messed up is the uh, the mouse and the keyboard inputs. But uh, I use a uh, a USB uh, a keyboard and um and mouse, so I don't really it doesn't really bother me that those are messed up. But uh, it's got a uh, let's see, I've got uh six USBs, uh, an external SATA back here, and um and uh an eight channel uh eight channel audio and um and then as you can see back here here's my uh my video card I've got the Radeon HD fifty seven fifty and uh it's it's a really I really like it. Uh I only have one right now. I plan on maybe uh uh maybe doing a crossfire um with two I don't really plan doing three because you know it's a little excessive. But um but uh because that because I want to maybe run uh two I have the OCZ 700 watt power supply. It's uh, I really like it. It gets the job done. It feeds everything. I'm never had power issues. Um, and then uh, uh, lastly here uh, in the actual computer, um, I've got uh, two uh, two drives. I've got um to start off with uh, this is uh, my one terabyte uh, Western Digital. It's at uh, uh, 7200 RPMs. Uh, it uh, it's a lot of space. Um, it's I like it. It's great. And then um, up here is a uh, a thirty gig uh, uh OCZ uh SSD. So um, that holds my operating system and a couple other random things I got on there. And um, but uh, yeah, it it loads my computer insanely fast. I love it. So it's got my or my OS and then which is uh, uh Windows Seven, and then um. There's a couple other things that got on there accidentally, and I haven't moved off. But, um, so yeah, uh, then, I'm not really gonna show you my, uh, but, um, really quick, uh, these are the, uh, these are where the, um, your, uh, where your disk drivers go. Uh, they really like it's, um, it's a, uh, it's a toolless input. So, um, what you do is, uh, you push these buttons. And I'm not gonna do one now because, you know, I don't, only have one hand free. And actually, you know what? I can't. Uh, no, I won't. Is um, you'll get the idea. You uh, you push the button, and uh, it unlocks, it unlocks the uh, the tray, and um, and then you can uh, freely move stuff in and out. And then uh, when you have it all flushed up with the front, you uh, you just click it again, and it locks it in place, and uh, it doesn't move. I really like it. It it makes it easy. So when I do clean out my uh, my front grills, it's it's not that painful. But anyways, on to on to the uh, the rest of my computer, um, all the peripherals. Um, this is my uh, Asus uh, 1080p 24 inch monitor. It's like the best purchase I've ever made. I think I love it. It's uh, it makes everything so easy to use because you know it's like a. Uh, I want to dual screen it, get another one, but uh, I'm kind of low on funds because I'm buying a whole lot of other stuff. But uh yeah, it's great. I love it. I would really recommend it if you're looking at a monitor. It's uh yeah, Asus 24 inch. And then um lastly is uh well this is my uh this is my wireless keyboard really quick. Uh when I like when I'm uh when I'm playing games, I don't I don't like to like be restricted with my keyboard, so I like the uh wireless. But then for my mouse, um this is just a normal Dell mouse. I stick with wired because the wireless ones are a lot heavier and um I feel like when uh when I'm sniping on TF2, I can move it around a lot easier because there's almost nothing to it. It's really it's really it's really light. Um, and then uh the last thing I have is the uh the Logitech G51 speakers. And uh here's the subwoofer really quick. Um, it's 56 watts RMS the subwoofer, and the whole system is 120 watts RMS. I think. Um, this is a really loud subwoofer. It um. Uh, it's, uh, let me see, what's the peak range on it? Or I, uh, I looked at the range on it really quick. It's, um, it's, uh, the frequency response is from, uh, 36 hertz, so it's down, down here on the subwoofer. I mean, uh, and, uh, the human ear can hear it to 20 hertz, so it's, uh, it's getting pretty low there. And then, um, uh, my two satellites, it's, uh, the whole, the whole pack is 5.1, but, uh, I've had this, uh, these speakers for almost two years now, and um, the uh the top one that uh or so I have uh two off to the side, and so um 
I'm running 2.1, but uh, I am capable of 5.1, and I don't use the top one because uh, it's because my uh, this uh, this sound system is a little older. Um, it's that one kind of died on me. It's not making. It's not working. So uh, I need to get that one fixed, and then um, uh, back here with uh, the rest of my stuff. There's nowhere to really put the, uh, the two back ones, and even then, one of them's a dead one. It just shrieks at me, and uh, whenever I plug it in, so I don't even bother with those ones. And um, but yeah, so uh, that's pretty much my system. Uh, I hope you liked it, and I thought hope you thought it was cool. Uh, thanks.